Hi there, it's Joey Babineau from Day Job Hacks, and in today's video, I'm going to go over the 20 point checklist for perfectly optimized blog posts. Okay, so I have the list here, and below this video, there will be a link to this checklist that you can get access to, but let me go through them one by one quickly so you can understand the 20-point checklist for writing a fully optimized blog post. This is what I use, this is what my team uses when we write blog posts online to ensure that we show up in the search engines when people search for content. In order to build an authority website, you need to build content that is search engine optimized, okay? SEO. So that's what we're gonna go over, and these are the 20 things that I make sure everyone does, whether it's me writing a post or somebody that I've hired on Upwork or any, anywhere else, these are the things that we make sure we do, okay? Now, all of these things can also be looked at through a plugin which we use, which is Rank Math SEO. It's a free plugin for WordPress. You can install that on your WordPress blogs and it'll help you follow the checklist, but we've added a couple more of our own things that we do. So let me go through that now. Number one, keyword research. This is extremely important. There are tools out there that you can use. I use a couple of tools. One of them is SEM Rush. If you go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEM Rush, you'll be able to get a copy of that for free and you can use it free for the, for certain features and one of them is keyword research, okay? Make sure when you do your keyword research you find keywords that have a good search volume but low competition preferably, but make sure that you don't always rely on tools. Now another tool I forgot to mention is the Google Keyword Planner. This one is also free. Make sure you check out that one as well, but you need to have a Google Ads account to get access to that keyword planner. Find about 10 to 20 keywords you wanna focus on and then put them aside so that you don't have to do this every time you write a blog post. <clears throat> Number two, create a starter headline. Make sure your headline is something that captures users' attention. So a number in your headline is always good. Use a good keyword, like a, I don't know what it is, it's like a happy sentiment kind of keyword or something that is something that attracts people. For example, five great ways to write a blog post or 20 extremely easy ways to make sure your blog post is optimized, stuff like that attracts people, they see the headline, when they search on Google, you wanna make sure when they see the headline, they click on it. Number three, you wanna make sure that your site is monetized. So our blog posts are monetized in a few different ways. Either we are linking to a sign up form, so we have a goal in mind when we have blog posts written. We either wanna collect a lead, so we lead people to a lead capture form, or we send them to an affiliate product, or we send them to another page on our site. This gets more page views and potentially allows people to actually click on ads that are on our website, which we've also put in there to monetize, such as AdSense. Number four, this is an extremely easy one. Just make sure you use 100% original content. Do not copy anything from the internet. Make sure every single sentence you write in your blog post is original or else Google will penalize you and you will drop in rankings. Number five, use subheadings. H1, H2, H3 are these uh, headings that you can use. They're right inside WordPress. Make sure that you use those. It's not only allowing people to easily read your content, but Google also likes them. Number six, make sure you put your keyword, your primary keyword that you're focusing on in your subheadings. Number seven, make sure you add supporting graphics to your blog post. So something to engage the users so that they can see it. This helps very much with readability and people enjoy seeing images in the blog posts. Number eight, ensure that your images are the right size, meaning don't use extremely big files because this will slow down your website and ultimately will slow down your mobile performance as well and this will drop you in the rankings. Number nine, add the primary keyword to your alt tags in your images. Now you don't have to do this for every single image in your post, but within a few of them, you should have your primary keyword in the alt tags. And again, this can be done right inside WordPress when you add the image. Number 10, use your primary keyword in the title of your file for the image. So for example, if it's a JPEG image and your primary keyword is how to make money online, your image should be named how to make money online.jpg. 
Number 11, make sure you use your primary keyword in the description. The meta description has to include your primary keyword. Number 12, use your primary keyword in the first paragraph. Again, you're gonna see some repetition here, but this is extremely important. First paragraph, primary keyword. Number 13, use your primary keyword in the title and naturally throughout the copy, okay? Your whole blog post, you should naturally be using this primary keyword as well as in your title and again, your meta descriptions, your alt tags and all that stuff. Now, I could have said that all in one step, but just make sure you follow the checklist because if you don't, you might forget one of them, okay? It's very important that it is everywhere. N number 14, make sure you add an internal link on your website to, to another page on your website. This is very important for many reasons. First of all, the Google crawlers love it. They can, they can follow the links and follow where all of your content is and they can see what your site is about. Also, it increases the page views on your website and the more page views you have, the more likelihood you're gonna make more money from places like AdSense and you're gonna have a more likelihood that people will actually click on your ads and read your content and engage. So make sure you're clicking or you're uh, leading people to other parts of your website in every single post. Number 15, make sure you add a link to an external source that has authority. So whatever you're talking about in your article, you should lead to an authoritative website. These can be government websites, educational websites, whatever it is, you can send them directly there. You don't have to use a, a, a don't follow link. You can, you can allow this to be indexed by Google. This will give you some authority and it'll show that what your content is talking about is in fact linking to an authoritative website that Google already knows about. Number 16, make sure all of your links open in a new tab. This is important because if somebody's reading a blog post and they click on a link and you take them away from that content, they will never go back, okay? So what happens here is you wanna make sure that when they click on a link, it opens in a new tab, they see the content, and your original blog post will always be open in the back. Number 17 is you should always have a call to action. Like I said, whether you're monetizing it with a list or you want to get somebody to click on an affiliate link or you want them to go to another page or you want them to leave a comment or you want them to share your post, every single post on your website should have some type of call to action, telling somebody to do something specifically that will help your business. Number 18, before you hit the publish button, make sure you do a final edit, make sure there are no spelling errors, go through the content, read it again, see where you can fill in the gaps and the holes and make sure you have all the correct punctuation. This is important, not only again for Google, but for the user's experience. Number 19, make sure you go through the Rank Math plugin or whatever plugin you're using. There's Yoast as well, these are SEO plugins that'll have a checklist and it'll tell you whether or not you're following the key items that are important to make sure that your search engine optimization is perfect in each post. So make sure that you do this before you hit the publish button. Step 20, the last step, hit the publish button and share your content, okay? Share it on your Facebook profile, on your Facebook pages and your groups, in your Pinterest account, in your Twitter account, on Reddit, wherever you have a social media profile, LinkedIn, all of these places, make sure you share your post and get engagement. Also at the same time, you should be mailing this to your email list if you have an email list. Now you can set a schedule on places like Aweber. If you, there's a link down below for a free trial of Aweber, go down there and uh, check it out. This is what I use to mail all of my blog posts, my videos and stuff to my subscribers who want this content. Hopefully these tips have helped you in setting up your blog posts more effectively. Like I said, this list is below in a link below. You can get access to it. Please like or thumbs up my video if you liked it or subscribe and click that little bell to make sure you get notified every time I post a new video. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video.